মানে আরা গোত বনে লিয়রে দালার বছরে আইরা আরা রে ওসি ভালাই মানে তিরি ওসি বাদা বারা কিন্তু হস্ত বিস্ত করি গুলি তুলতেন গরে আসি আইরি রে বোত মানে জন হাত আসি দে রে ভাল করি গো দা চা পার তোলা মি বসে তো আরা তে রহনা হনা হানা নাই হনা পানি নাই কিছু নাই এ ইন্দলা হস্ত করি গুলি আরা কুলা হারাই গে We are in the world's largest refugee camp. The Rohingya are an ethnic Muslim minority group. In 2017, approximately 700,000 Rohingyas were displaced to the Cox Bazar region of Bangladesh, adding to the pre-existing 300,000 people that were already living in Bangladesh as refugees. There are upwards of 1 million Rohingya refugees who have fled Myanmar. I was just amazed by the sheer size of the refugee camp here. If you look beyond the mountains, like there's no end in sight to the number of houses and little huts that people built. You can see it. You can see Myanmar from, you know, the outside of the camp and looking at home and saying I can't go back. It's sad. It is impossible to live in such refugee camp life because our children lives are destroying every day because there is not any good learning opportunity. If we can go back to our homeland with our right, which has confiscated by Myanmar government, we may be happy in our homeland. Here, you are surrounded by many, many camps. I mean, miles of camps. While resources are limited, they're also challenging because you're dealing with large-scale population health efforts. There is not adequate number of local physicians who would be able to provide services to the Rohingya refugees. Any shortness of breath or cough? We founded the EVMS Refugee Health Initiative at EVMS in 2017 to support and advance the health of our local refugee community. And we wanted to build upon that to work with refugees in an international setting at the points of displacement. The way our clinic is set up, we do rely on our volunteers, international volunteers, to come and support Met Global and OBAT. This clinic is here every single day. People show up every single day. It's just a lot of people, period. And that's one of the reasons why the clinics are just so slammed with patients. On average, we have about 500 people attending the facility, but we have to turn away a good portion of them because of a lack of adequate resources to service all of the patients that come in. And those one million refugees are spread amongst many camps that are here and surrounding us. This particular camp in which we're working, Camp 4, has 30,000 Rohingya refugees. You know, we're in one camp, and there's almost 20 different campsites adjacent to each other that make up this entire refugee site. In a sense, it's completely overwhelming, and in a sense, it's too hard to even begin to see the full picture. Does it hurt in the morning or worse at night? Whether or not we can change what's happening, at least we can walk with them in this experience, even if we can't understand anything that anybody um, is dealing with. And I think medicine is a really beautiful and powerful way to experience that with people. After arriving here in Bangladesh refugee camp, it is our good luck. We have a lot of foreign volunteers getting for our medical checkup and to see the best doctors. So it is uh, very helpful for us. Big breath, isn't it? <laughs> As you know, one of our mottos at EVMS is that we're community focused and world impact, but some of that community focus is also the worldwide community. Many students these days are very interested in global health. There's certainly a need for it in a place like this, uh, where people are bereft of care without efforts like this. Coming out to somewhere like a refugee camp and to learn from the population and to help people, I think that's what it truly means to be a physician because this is who needs it the most. When I press it hurts more. My role as a medical student on this trip is 
to learn as much as I can about what it's like to work in a global health setting, in a low resource setting, working in challenging environments and becoming adaptable. Making sure that everybody is getting seen still and getting the care that they need while also allowing us to learn how to care for patients that are in these types of settings in the future. The only thing that I, I've done on this trip that I haven't done at EVMS is working with translators. Other than that, I'm kind of within my role as a third year medical student. Just because these people are in need does not mean that that gives us the right to do things that are not within our scope. Being with people when they're vulnerable like this, is not it's not a sacrifice, it is a privilege. You really have to think about it that way. The Rohingya have been very, very happy with the healthcare we've been providing. They're so grateful and thankful, and I think a lot of it has to do with just knowing that foreigners care and that we know their story. These are the sorts of experiences and connections that really define who we are as physicians, as healthcare professionals. Being here has been eye-opening in that these refugees, they're still very much up in the air about their future. It is two years I am here in this refugee camp. Actually, motherland is the best for everyone. So we are getting here everything, but we are not happy in Bangladesh refugee camp. We want to go to our own country These clinics are used to seeing groups of people come in and out, serving healthcare for a few days or longer. You're always having rotating staff amongst some regular local staff as well. The idea is to try to leave a lasting impact on the community, give them some hope. Hi. Do you play? Yeah? Yeah. Hi. Water? From what I see anyway, some of the earliest English words that the kids here learn are hi and bye-bye. Maybe the reason why they, they say bye-bye so often or learn so quickly is because people are always leaving. Bye! So the question is, what can you do with the time that you have here amongst everybody? And I think it's about providing healthcare on a personal level.